everybody Ann here, sitting out here in front of the chicken yard, having my coffee, having a ham and egg and cheese sandwich. It's going to be delicious. And I made something last night. I just got a wild hair up. I was sitting in front of my porch, and I'm thinking, hmm, I need to do this thing. So let me turn this camera around, and I'm going to show you what it is. Look it. I made a little fire pit. Yum. Last night, I didn't have this little girl thing on it. I just burnt a little bit of wood. I just stacked some bricks up. And it worked beautifully. It was nice sitting out here last night. But the only problem is, is these bricks are just stacked on top of each other. They're just, you know, they could move. So what I need to figure out is how to make a mortar. Now I have clay. <laughs> I've got clay. I've got sand. The sand is, I think it's fine sand though. I've got water and I can find some straw. Uh... Actually, I don't have actual straw. All I've got is some tall grass that's dried. So, I'm going to be researching how to make my own mortar to kind of just solidify this. And, uh, I don't know, have a nice little fire pit right out my front door. It's actually pretty far away from the, the front steps. So, I mean, it's not going to be a fire hazard or anything for my tiny house. But... I love it and I can put this little thing on top and although I won't cook meat directly on top of this I'll have to get a finer grill um, that's an old refrigerator great thingy so that's pretty stable um, I don't know what do you guys think how do I make mortar out of clay and sand and straw hmm? I mean, if you look at these bricks, look, they've already got clay in the middle of it, and it has dried, and it's rock solid. So, I know, but the thing is, is when it rains, it washes out. So, it has to be more than just clay. All right? Let me know what I should do. Look at that beautiful fire. One thing I do want to do is I want to turn the bricks on the bottom, on their side, so the holes are pointing out to give me a little bit of better airflow. I think that that would probably work better. And I figured, you know what? I need to put on a pot of beans. So that's what I did. I made a pot of beans last night. And it was really, really delicious. Yeah, so let me know. How can I make a mortar? Well, look at who's learned to roost. Oh, <laughs> yep. It looks like the chicks can get out. So I'm going to have to fix this. They're doing great. Yep, they still got food, they still got water. Right on. <laughs> Taking it right on, Mama. <laughs> She's just gonna stay up there, isn't she? <laughs> They're getting feathers. They keep kicking all their food out. <sighs> I could sit in here for hours. I gotta get him some more food. I think a lot of it is kicked out. Yeah, there's quite a bit of feed down in there. I just took a shower in my new shower tent and it was lovely. It was pure cold water though. It was like jarring, but it's pretty warm out today. So it felt pretty good. So I got my hair washed and I actually conditioned it. So I don't know, it looks a little crazy right now. We'll see, we'll see how it develops over the next few days. Anyhow, it is going to freeze over, well, it's not going to freeze. It's going to get down to, I think, 34 or 35, and that's too cold for a lot of the plants I got out here. So, I'm going to just have to cover them all up. It's not a big deal this time. I've got plenty of covers, 
and uh, I think they're gonna be just fine. Look at this little thing I got. It's a bug zapper, LED light, and you can charge your phone. There's a charging place somewhere right there. You can charge your phone with it. But I've had this thing going on just the bug light alone for like three days straight. You know, I turn it off at night when I go to bed, but it's, there were a whole bunch of more mosquitoes in there earlier, but I cleaned it out. I kind of like brushed it out. It, it comes with a little brush, um, but it is, this is so great. And the lights, well, you can't see right now because it's light outside, but you can have the LED light on and the bug light or just the bug light and you can charge your phone with it too and you recharge it via USB but it has been zapping bugs so many bugs can you see them in there and this is after I cleaned it out once this is absolutely amazing you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Amazon uh, affiliate store you know my storefront so you guys can purchase it if you purchase it I get a little bit of credit uh, not credit, just a little bit of money, but I love this. And you can set it like this. You can set it like this. And it's got a little thing right there at the bottom. You can pull out and you can hang it up like this. I like to have it like this the best though. Oh, I love this thing. Oh my gosh. Since it's going to drop down to, I think like 34 tonight, I've covered up my plants. I just draped those over them, staked them down. Hopefully they'll stay. I'm not covering up that one. Hello, chickens. Yes, I'm letting them free range today. Um, over here, I just joined three buckets together, put stakes in it, covered it up. Same with this one over here. You know, the sun's going down, and uh, I wanted to retain some of the heat, so I took three buckets and just put them together over, over there, covered them up. Use some old garden bags and some bowls and some gallon jugs. Covered them up. I'm not covering those up or those up because they're pretty hardy. Covered all these up. All that's covered up. Use the garden hoops again. So, yeah, it. I didn't wait until it got cold to cover them up. So they're going to have plenty of heat in there. I watered them, um, and that's supposed to help retain some heat in there and keep them from freezing. So, I don't know, maybe overkill, but last year I didn't take enough precautions and I lost most of my plants, so hopefully this will work. Oh, look it. <laughs> they love that wild lettuce. I bet you they're going to eat it. <laughs> I've been planting some things over there. There's that tall grass um, and there's a fern over there and they are actually doing really, really well. So... I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, oh yeah, I did the tomatoes over there too. I hope you're having fun, chickens. Now I know there's gonna be at least one of you that said, you're doing it wrong. You should have, instead of all that hard work that you did covering up your plants, you should have done it this other way. Um, spare me, <laughs> really, honestly. Uh, the plastic is gonna work fine. Yes, I know you aren't supposed to have the plastic touching the plants. And I made every effort for that to be the case with little steaks, bamboo, and whatnot. Um, I used cloth, yeah, last year, and it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything at all. And when you think about it, what is a greenhouse made out of? It's covered in freaking plastic, okay? Um, I'm sorry I'm being sarcastic, but it's sometimes... <laughs> It's easy to get annoyed on the on the internet, you know what I mean? When well-meaning people um, will say, after you've worked for hours or you've done something and you're really proud of it, and then they come on and say, well, what you should have done is you should have moved it a little bit further that way, or just, just little micro things that they say and it just all adds up after a while. Anyhow, um, you guys know I love you. I do. I love all of you. You're all great. Um, I'm just in a mood. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm in a mood. So, uh, anyhow, yeah, that's how I covered the plants. Uh, you don't need to tell me that I did it wrong or I should have done it another way because that's how I did it. When you're watching this, <laughs> it will be after, the day after or two days or however long, whenever I decide to get this video up, 
Um, and so for, for you to make a negative comment, I mean, the first thing that comes to your mind and comes out of your mouth shouldn't be a negative comment, okay? Um, gosh, that was ugly. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.